Hey everybody, what is up? This is Brandon here. This YouTube channel is called The 99% of Gamers. And this here is a Blossom emblem. This is going to be a build from start to finish. Layer 1. It's just the round square. Black. I'm going to clear that for now so you can see the grid lines on all the other emblems and how they're made. So here we're going to go to the Flag Breeze. This is Layer 2. You're going to flip it. You're going to move it down. You're going to scale it smaller. And you're going to color it. This is the, the hair of the emblem. That's the color. And once again, these emblems, it's going to take about 23 minutes to build this thing. The whole time I'm going back to other layers and moving things. And you'll see it. It's, it's a process. This here is the wind sock. This is going to be the right arm. That's the color. And I'm just putting these in a general spot of where they're going to be. I'm going to move them later to the, to the spot. Now you're going to copy and paste this and you're going to flip it. So layer 4 is a copy of layer 3. Flipped and placed for the left arm. So this is just a general spot. I'm going to really fix them once I get more done here. It's easier to fix them later. Next we'll go with the oven mitt. This is going to be the right leg. Just going to put it down here in a general spot. Move to layer 6. We're going to use the tube. This is going to be the black color. It's going to be part of like the foot or whatever it is. It's really just you know something on the leg there it makes it look like a foot I don't know so here you're gonna hit the RS for to take it out of fixed scale and turning it into free scale so you can make them thicker thinner or whatever layer 7 is another oven mitt this is gonna be the left leg hit RS for the fixed scale I'm just gonna stretch it out just getting it in a general spot of where it's going to be. Move to layer 8. Oven mitt. Color black. This is the going to be the left part of the, the leg, like the foot area. Move to layer 9. Go with the broken column. This is going to be the dress colors right there what you're gonna do is you're gonna flip this and I also hit RS to move it to freescale and just kinda make it a little longer make it wider now I'm gonna go back to layer 7 I'm gonna adjust this foot this leg here hit RS to the the free scale make it thinner a little longer layer 8 same thing I'm just gonna make it a little smaller get it in a little more proportions same with layer 5 the right leg layer 6 the, the foot there just saving it I'm gonna go back and work on it again move to layer 10 Well, layer 9, you're going to copy and paste to layer 10. You're going to make it black, and you're going to toggle outline. So you just get the black outline of that shape. Layer 11. Go with the visor. Make it black. This is going to be the belt. Just getting it close can always change it later. Layer 12. Full circle. It's going to be the, the head. And that's going to be the same color as the, as the hands, the arms. Right there. 
Once you get the head in place, you'll go back to the arms and you're gonna, I'm gonna go into layer four, I'm gonna adjust this one. Layer three, adjust that one. Hit RS, you can hit RS for the free scale, make it thinner, make it more proportioned so it looks better. This is basically up to you. Your emblem's not gonna look identical to mine as my emblem this time didn't look identical to the first one I made. Just do your best to get it as close as you can. Go to a full circle again. It's gonna be one of the eyes. I'm gonna hit the RS for the, the free scale. Make it a little oval. Layer 14 is going to be a copy of layer 13. Just paste it for the, the left eye. And this one's a little bigger because she's kind of looking in that direction. So layer 15 is another full circle. This one's black. It's also part of the eye. No, it's not black. It's going to be a pinkish color. It's going to be part of the... It's almost the same color as the dress. Just going to copy and paste that one since it's already close to the, the scale. And I can just shrink it down a little. It's a little easier to do it that way. Same with layer 14, copy it, paste it, change the color, shrink it down. Now I copied that one again, layer 15, make it black and make it a little smaller. It's just easier to copy and paste them than to go through and try to get that oval shape again. So you copy layer 16, make it black, and then just shrink it down. Now I'm only using the fixed scale when I'm shrinking these. I'm not free scaling them. Because I'm keeping that shape of the eye. Now I'm just moving these back in a little. It's good to keep that eye about flush with the face. So layer 19, it's another full circle. This one's white. Copy it, paste it, move it to the other eye. Make that one a little bigger. Just getting them close. Can always go back and change it later, which I will do. Copying that eye to 21. I'm gonna make it black and do the toggle outline button so it's just the outline of the eye. Same with layer 14, copy it, paste it to layer 22, make it black, toggle to outline. So layer 23, it's gonna be half circle. Make it black. It's going to be the mouth. Copy it, paste it to 24. Change it to the color around the color of the dress. Make it a little smaller. It's going to be the tongue or the mouth. Layer 25. Gonna use this lightning bolt here. It's gonna be the same color as the hair. It's gonna 
copy it and paste it, flip it, and then just try to line them up as best as you can. This is kind of tricky. You want to get the two lightning bolts to line up so it's just a straight V in the middle. So layer 27, quarter circle, same color as the, the hair. It's going to shrink this one down. It's going to be just another part of the hair on the top, part of the bangs. Layer 28. Go with the tongue. I'm going to use it to be part of the bow to cover up the hair where the lightning bolts have come out. Copy it, paste it to layer 29. Flip it, put it on the other side. So this one's a lot different looking than the first one, but I ended up changing it here in a minute. So layer 30, we'll go with the tube. It's going to be a little bit lighter than the two bows. It's going to give it a little bit of separation of the two. Just so it looks like the little knot in the middle. Here I make a copy of layer 30 to 31, change it to the outline, but I later I later get rid of this step here because it's unneeded. I'll make some changes here and you'll see what I'm what I'm what I mean. I think it looks better the second time I I change it here. So you can disregard that step there. But for educational purposes we'll leave this in just to show you the contrast between the two emblems and what I changed and why I think the second one looks a little better so here I go back to the head the original face and I make a copy go all the way to layer 32 you paste it choose the color black and toggle outline button to give it the outline of the face so that's what you're going to shape everything else into. See, I go back to the hair. I adjust the hair to get it in the line. Same with that one. May not change that one. I may, yeah, a little bit. Just line them up. Then I'll, I'll end up changing the eye, the left eye, because it's sticking outside the line. Try to move it in. Line it up a little better. Right here. Moving the outline in. Move the, the center white in. The black in. The pink in. And I'm going to move the, the whole eye in. Now the arm, I'm making the little a little thinner and a little longer using that RS button to free scale it same with the right arm and I'm just adjusting these bows which again I'll later change to make them a little better
And another thing that I do is the face in this one is round. The face in the other one is a little oval. So I'll go back and make the face a little more oval and then adjust everything accordingly just to show you the contrast between the two. So this is a long process. I mean, I don't build these things in, in five minutes flat. Sometimes you gotta take your time and just keep working at it until you get it to look just right. Moving the tongue in a little bit, it's too far out. Moving the eyes in a little more. Trying to line them up the best that I can. And then the leg, I'm gonna make it a little bit thinner. Same with the shoe. And the right foot, hit the free scale button, the RS button, make it a little bit thinner, adjusting that. The hair, adjusting the hair, just didn't really look right. Just gonna get it as close as I can. Hit the free scale button, change it, make it a little longer. And then here you can, I was just kind of experimenting around with it. You can use things like the star, but that was before I went back and redid the bow. So uh, what I do here is I end up picking black and then using the round square and just filling in the whole background. I don't know, I kind of just like the whole black background better. So once again, I'm going over everything to see how it looks. Gonna adjust the eyes a little more. Really, this is a long long process. So I save the emblem and then I, I go back and I look at the two I compare them. The skin color is a little different. The face is more round. So then I go back and then I adjust the face Make it a little free scale button, make it a little wider. I'll copy that. And then I'm going to go all the way to the very end. And paste it over the outline. Then I'm going to change it to black. Toggle outline fill. Gives you the face. Now I'm going to take layer 30 and I'm going to delete it. And what I'm going to choose here is the half shuriken. Make it black, and it's going to go right on top of the head, right up here. What I'll do is I'll move it two layers back before the bows. Now I'm going to move the bows out of the way so I can see where to line up layer 28. Make it a little bigger. If you shape it just right, you can cover up all of the lightning bolts on the head. And then that gives you the freedom to move the bows out farther. To make them a little, little, it looks better, I think. And it looks more like the original one. And having layer 31 a little bit lighter than the two, it makes it stand out so that it looks like it's outlined, even though it really isn't. So here I'm just lining these up the best that I can. Trying to line them up to where the red don't show through on the face, but yet 
as much of it is behind it as possible. So now I'm going to adjust the hair a little more. Just going to move them down some. You know, turn them to the side. Layer 27. Trying to line them up. It gets pretty close. So now I'm going to work on the eyes again because her left eye is out pretty far. So I'm going to move it back out some. Just layer at a time. Just moving it. Just getting it close. the right eye out a little and the outline out some and here I'm just gonna rotate this a little bit because the, the original one was more to the side and then I'm just gonna Make it a little wider. And the legs, just kind of making them a little bit thinner. Adjusting things here and there. Just trying to make it look proportional. I mean, just do your best to get it to look as close as you can. I know the other videos where people make emblems, they just speed it up, play music to it, and it's pretty much impossible to follow it. I mean, the, the plus side is it makes the videos shorter, but the downside is you can't see it built step by step slowly where you can rebuild it yourself. So here, it's pretty close, it's what I think, it looks good, it's close enough, the color's a little better, it's not as pale, and that's pretty much it, thanks for watching.